I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Cory Shepard narrowly avoided a threesome while also going and exploring the galaxy and taking down the infamous organization known as Cerberus. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another video. In this video, Commander Corey Shepard is going to head to Novaria to complete the second, third, technically, story world that we can. And this, my friends, is a big one. Thank you guys so much for watching. A huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres almost every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern. I sincerely appreciate you guys, and I love hanging out with you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Uh, let's jump into it, though, because we have a lot to do today. Commander Corey Shepard is going to be very busy as she uses the galaxy map to head to Novaria. Arriving in the PAX system, she headed to Veli's and was able to survey for yet another Matriarch Delanaga's writings, this being the last. And that was the only planet she could survey, so she headed to Novaria. And my friends, this is going to be a very big world here. It's a small frozen terrestrial world, barely habitable by conventional definitions. It is privately chartered by the Novaria Development Corporation, who lease out labs to perform research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere. Given Novaria's unique situation, it is the source of many wild conspiracy theories. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. I just love Joker's sass, you know? So it looks like this place is not uh, not super on board with the whole Spectre thing arriving in their 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 planet. So we're going to head to the airlock where we get to leave and pick our squad. Of course, our squad is going to consist of Liara to Sony and Garrus Vicarian. Uh, I highly recommend bringing Liara to this planet. Heading off of the Normandy, we'll see that there's little camera scanners everywhere that want to check us out. This seems uh, pretty welcoming. Looks like we have, in case we're attacked, looks like there's some places maybe to hide. But I'm sure this place seems peaceful. And in front of us, we're met by a security team. That's far enough. Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Uh, I'm with the Council, so... I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Absolutely not. Citadel Authority supersedes yours. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Well, that got a little spicy real quick, picking up renegades there because we refuse to give up our weapons, especially in a hostile world where Matriarch Venezia is supposedly hiding out, which, by the way, is why we're on Novaria to begin with. The council received reports of geth interest in the corporate research colony of Novaria, and they wanted to find out why, and we've heard rumors that Matriarch sure Venezia, the right hand of Saren, is also here. Get out of here. And apparently these people don't like us very much, so I guess we'll just get out of here. Nothing that we can find yet. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. No, you were, you were I nice. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. 
You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Yeah, why so Pretty many guards? heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an sorry lawyer to see the case through. Yep. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. What'd I tell you? Benezia. She is here. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. And where's Analeas? Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Great, thank Understood. you, Shiana. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, we don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're a part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. It also helps that I'm in love with you, Liara. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna head out of here and use the elevator to go where we gotta go. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. Thank you. This place seems... Well, this place does not seem nice. It seems to be a, a little problematic. But we see a Hanar right away, Merchant Opal. Let's go ahead and talk to them. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. So we have a bunch of different options here, actually, when talking to Merchant Opold and starting this quest, uh, the Novaria smuggling assignment. We can accept this quest and turn it in for a bunch of credits and all this other, but we'll, we'll go through and we'll choose the best, the best option. Now, if you were trying to very quickly get through Novaria, uh, the best option would be to accept the smuggling quest and then actually go bring it to Administrator Analeas and let him know what the merchant is doing here but we're not going to do that we're going to ask him about the contents carry anything if i don't know what it is this one must be discreet rest assured the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port and who's it going to i want to know where this package is going this one's customer prefers to remain anonymous and we can charm opals i'd be stupid to do this without knowing that i'm not equipping my own enemies your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. We'll do it. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? Yeah, we can also buy some Could stuff I buy from him. Something now? Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? Yes, we're looking for uh, standard items. And we can buy a few things here, like a unique item, the Rosenkopf Materials License. And we can upgrade our Metagel capacity. So we now have uh, one more maximum Metagel. And yes, that's how high my darn credits are right now. 
after buying those upgrades we don't really need anything else from the merchant here uh but there are like i said a bunch of ways to handle this uh you can say no like you can come back and say like no i'm good dude but we got browsing right now the name of who this package is going to so if we really wanted to we could actually cut out the middleman here so let's head back to the normandy and grab this package so heading out to the normandy where it's docked we can find opal's package here so we'll go ahead and we'll pick that up and then return to opal instead of going and talking to the merchant right away we're actually going to head over here to this bar area and we're going to head inside we get to the mezzanine area of port hanshin and we notice that there are a few people here apparently this asari here maline needs us we're actually going to head to the second floor of this mezzanine remember apparently there's a krogan named inamorta who's looking for this this package so at the very end here, we'll see the Krogan Inamorta sitting there drinking something. We can go ahead and talk to him, see if he seems nice at all. What do you want? Uh, what are you having? What's that you're drinking? Human blood with cinnamon. Find someone else to bother. Oh, okay. Uh, well, he doesn't seem very nice. But we can head inside here and decrypt this terminal. Security logs on authorized transmission. Not sure if you'll believe this, Doctor, but it's imperative to make your way to the safe location. Your history with our organization has been leaked. Your base in the Newton system is no longer secure. I repeat, make your way to the safe location immediately. My friends, that sounds like something Cerberus would say. And we get the mission Doctor at risk. You can also go ahead and override the security system here. And synthetic insight security has been disabled. Hmm. Don't know what that's for, but that might be useful later. I'll take that XP. I'll tell you what. So let's go ahead and see if we. Want? Let's just talk about Opal. I've heard Opal has something for you. Like I care that you know, you was courier or something. Yup. I was on my way to deliver it. Hmm. Sit down a minute. I have a business proposal. I'm paying the Hanar more than I want. I'll bet he's paying you less than you want. Sell it to me. Hmm, what's a figure? Interesting. But exactly how much is this worth to you? 500 credits. No deal. Not good enough. I'll take it to Opold. Hmm, probably couldn't add up how much more you'd earn. Hey, buddy! <laughs> Stupid base 10 math. That's what they get for having extra fingers. All right, well, you have extra testicles, my dude, so why are you coming for me? Don't hang up. Elder brother, it's me. I'm on the very end now. I can't talk long. This call is costing 10 credits a minute. It's real time from the troopers. Do you think it would be cheap? I need some information. There's an issue here with synthetic insights. Hmm. The manager, Laura Keen. He got caught with his toes wet. The office is closed by Hanshin's administrator. I, I need you to see what you can find out about. Are you ready for his name? Ronadrill, Gan, Swa, Bolsun, Karath, Nard, Yehi, Bella, and Elias. No, that's the administrator. The Hanshin administrator. Well, think about it. A Turian wouldn't risk getting his office closed. They don't compromise their team. That's drilled into the food key. I think the administrator is using this key to draw flies from his own touch. Of course I could look it up myself. But do you think I'm likely to get any unfiltered data through Novaria's own network? That, and it would take forever for any out-system search results to get back here. Thank you, Elder Brother. I have to go. Yes. I'll speak to you soon. Overhearing that conversation about Analeas, it sounds like there's something else going on here. Apparently, we can't go into the hotel. It's closed unless you have a corporate account, which, you know, we don't. Let's go ahead and chat to Malene Kalis, the Sasari who waited for us and approached as soon as we the had entered. The human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Um, have we met? Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. Uh, why can't you do He's right this? right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. 
He realized I was not a real buyer. And why me? I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. And what do I get out of that? What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Mm, this is illegal. You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? All right, no. I'll do it. I don't suppose they're clean either. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. You know, no, that's I'll okay. Go see him now. We'll see if we can read him ourselves. So we're gonna paragon this up. We're gonna go talk to Vargas here. There are a few ways that you can handle this mission as well. Uh, you can just not agree to help her, and that's gonna get you a bunch of uh, paragon points, but no experience points. You can agree to help, but then you can go and talk to her and tell her you quit, and you'll actually get paragon points and experience, which is obviously an incredibly fast way to do that. And uh, then we can renegade options as well, where we can kind of do what she wants us to do. Um, but then tell him what's going on and the fastest way to do this Is to agree to help her and then tell Vargas in the section option uh, What she wants us to do and then we go back and lie to her and tell her that it's done and you'll get some pretty good rewards But we're gonna deal with this a different way I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix That's correct. Rafael Vargas sales. Were you interested in our services? No, and Asari actually asked me to spy. Actually, I wanted to warn you. An agent of the Aramali Council hired me to break into your network. She gave me this. Oh, a cracking device. I appreciate your forthrightness, Shepard. Now that we know what to look for, our IT people can have a little fun with the Asari. We'll isolate their viruses and feed them false data. If you look sneaky. Well, that was easy. Let's go ahead and uh, tell her the job's done. Any results? Yeah, I told him about I told you. Vargas what you put me up to. I see. May I ask why? Yeah, you're a criminal. Breaking the law by spying and by bribing me. He'll be on guard against you now. That's worse than a slap on the wrist fine, isn't it? You have a unique perspective. Devious, one might say. I believe I should get off world now, quickly. Good day, Spectre. Good day. I don't need any credits, so really, I just wanted the experience points and to say, hey, you know what? I ain't spying. I ain't spying on them. And we're not going to deliver that package to Inamorta because he seems mean, and I don't want to give stuff to mean people. So we're going to do something else with it. So coming back to Merchant Opals. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? We're going to tell him, you know what? Change we're keeping plans. it. I've decided to keep it myself. You cannot do that. Inamorda will be furious with this one. This one wants the other to leave now. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. But we'll get Shredder Rounds for a mod. Now, unfortunately... What if Inamorda saw this one speaking to you? Are you sulking? Upset because I sold the package myself? Yes. Does the other wish to make a purchase? No. Have it your way. Well... She, that, that seems pretty mad at us. Now, funny, if you actually accept the mod, you get way more... Hello? Thank you. You get way more money if you sell the mod than if you just delivered it. Uh, there's really no reason. For 500 credits, that's ridiculous. We don't need that. So instead, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it for ourselves. But this is when it gets interesting. We're gonna head back to the Normandy real quick. And immediately... 
we're going to be set upon by a few Krogan. Yup, no joke. When you come back to the Normandy after that, you will have to deal with some very angry Krogan. Inamorta and his team are pretty upset about what we did. Taking down two Krogan. One more remains, and that is Inamorta himself, which of course, being the badasses that we are, we're gonna stasis him and then just finish him off because we, my friends, are a bastion of depths. He's gonna get tossed on the ground and we're actually gonna go ahead and warp. And Inamorta is dead. So that's how you handle that. That guy seemed problematic, so we took care of him. Anyways, let's go back to the port area. It was very nice. Let's go tell Opal uh, that he's probably safe from the wrath of Inamorta. This one has heard that Inamorta has met an unfortunate end. You're damn right he did. I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits. And I don't think they're too mad at us, but we do have the administrator to go talk to, so let's head over to the administrator's office, which is right down here. Now, if you haven't already done some missions, there are things that you can decrypt here for new assignments. But if you're following along or watching this series, we've already done those. And it looks like Gianna Parasini is waiting for us. Hello, Gianna. How can I help you? How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. That's cool. And Tell what corporations are here? Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Hey, tell me about Synthetic Insights. Haven't I seen Synthetic Insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. And what about Binary Helix? Binary Helix. They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Makes sense. And what about Alanis Risk Control? Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Alanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Huh. Having one company be in charge of your security seems weird. Where's Analeas? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Okay, great. Thanks for the thanks for the invite. So we're gonna go talk to uh, this administrator who is a Solarium. We heard that in the call. Notice that there's drones everywhere. It seems like he's got some security here, so let's talk to him. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain colonial rubes. Um, you've read my file. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Hmm. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. And, oddly enough, this is sort of a bug, but we can actually let Analeas know that Opal asked us to smuggle. Which is which is a little strange, but we're actually going to ask about Saren and Matriarch Venezia first. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Interesting. Is he developing weapons here? Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. What about Matriarch Benezia? I've heard an Asari Matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. Mmm, personal what escort? What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. And what sort of cargo? What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. Okay, why is she here? What brought her out here? 
If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Well, then maybe we actually should have spied on that peak, that, that Binary Helix guy. Oops. I'd like to see her immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. So we drive there. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. All right, but I have another Back to topic. my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. And, oddly enough, there's a little bit of a bug here, but we can actually act like we're we're turning Opold in for this. So we're gonna we're gonna let him know that Opold asked us to smuggle. Opold wants me to smuggle a package through security. I need more than your word to act on that. Bring me whatever he's smuggling, and I'll act accordingly. You'll arrest him? So you'll arrest him. No one here is fond of trials. They make shareholders nervous. More likely we would simply let him go. Of course he would be blacklisted by the companies here. Uh oh. Uh I want garage so access. Fast. In exchange, I want garage access. You are shrewd to use this as leverage. If it is a serious infraction, I will give you a pass. Perfect. Here's the package. Here's the package. Proof enough? I am no weapons expert, but it seems to me that this is a rather advanced device. Certainly contraband. It would have been unfortunate if this had reached its buyer. Well, I also killed its buyer, so... Uh, let's discuss my reward. How thankful are you? I am willing to give you 200 credits and a pass to leave Hanshan. Not without an understanding between us, of course. You can only go to Peak 15 to speak to Lady Benezia. If you cause trouble or if the staff asks you to leave, you will be thrown off world. And I'm also going to keep the upgrade, buddy. Yeah, that's a dangerous weapon. It shouldn't be left unsecured. I should impound it. Of course. That makes perfect sense. I wouldn't know what to do with it anyway. It would be best if you kept it. If there is nothing else, I would like to go back to work. Yes. Great I'm conversation. Good. So get this. We got a ton of experience, and we actually got to keep both of the mods. We actually get two. So that's a little bit of a bug that you get to kind of exploit there. But not only does it give us the uh, the garage pass immediately, it gives us a ton of it. It's awesome. It's such a good. It worked out perfectly. Now that we've talked to Analeas, we can leave. Hi, Gianna. So because we already got our garage pass, Gianna doesn't have anything to say to us. We're going to actually head over to back to the bar area and talk to a Turian that we saw there, Lorik Keen. So even though we could leave this port right now and head to Peak 15 where Matriarch Benezia is, we're not going to do that because there is extra stuff that we can do here. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? And that person is going to be Laura Keen. Let's ask him about Matriarch Benezia. Did you see an Asari Matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a Matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Is it odd to is see a Matriarch? Is it so unusual to see a Matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstripe suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees so to speak young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species sorry about that by the way they let commandos Armed in. commandos were allowed on novaria i don't know if they were disarmed of course one can't confiscate biotic powers Saren, and by extension benezia is an important person by that i mean an investor who might sell stock if denied interesting what is she doing here do you know why benezia is here she claimed to be Saren's assistant here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. Interesting. I have a you... different question. Humans are full of questions. I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. Yeah, who are you? Who might you be? Lorik Keen. For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights office. That's an odd answer. For the moment? Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Interesting. I sense a connection there. 
Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. Huh. What would you do if you got the evidence? All I want is the leverage to stop paying bribes. Businesses that want to stay in business avoid controversy. How did you get this evidence? I arranged for certain devices to find their way into his office. Purely for my own interest, Synthetic Insights would never tolerate such action. They recorded many undocumented credit transfers. The data was transferred to my office. You have a problem, buddy. Is there buddy. anything I can do? I would never decline charity. However, there is one issue I should mention. Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. Hmm. I'll figure something I'll out. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? So, if you did not get the garage pass from Analeas by turning in the merchant's package, when you go to leave his office, you'll actually be stopped by Gianna, who is uh, basically undercover and wants to take Analeas down. So, she kind of points you in the direction of Laura Keen, and that's how you find him. Uh, instead of just, you know, talking to everybody. But we're going to do it this way instead. And head to the Synthetic Insights office. Heading that way, where Lil Hererax is, uh, is actually how we leave the port. Now that we have the garage pass. But we're not going to worry about that yet because the offices are right here. And coming into the office, we see that, yep, there are guards here. Freeze! Hanshan Security. This office is sealed. What do you do if I don't? You're the Spectre, right? Laura Keen is under investigation. You know, they're here illegally. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a varin up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Smart. Very smart. We'll get eight Paragon points, but unfortunately for us, those weren't the only guards here. But we're going to keep taking down these guards because they're a little bit easy and they are free XP, which you love to see. But we can head into the offices down here and find an upgrade kit for some items that we can grab. And also, upstairs is where we need to go to get this evidence. And only one more guard is sitting here waiting for us to destroy them. Heading upstairs right around the corner, we find another guard. Which we're going to go ahead and overload this uh, device there. And we took them all down. See how many credits you get just for defeating somebody? It's like, why would we ever deal with 200 credits from, from uh, some smuggling quests? Like, no, give me the best options, you know? Anyways, we can decrypt this door over here. And open it so that we can head inside and grab some more items. Nice. And now we need to head to the other side. Where we can get the evidence that will take down Administrator Analeas. Lorik Keen's computer. We downloaded the evidence from Lorik's computer. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and grab this wall safe as well. And upon leaving the area, we see that there's even more guards here, and it looks like it's that jerk, Kyra. Hello. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Who are you? You have me at a disadvantage, Miss. Oh, now you're gonna show some respect? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off duty, breaking the law for bribe money. It's true, they didn't even I give didn't me a choice. I didn't want to fight them, they fired first. 
and immediately we are going to well, cast singularity to here so that we can get all of them floating in the sky and then we can take them down easy peasy one guard down there's only a few left we'll go ahead and use another singularity from our dear beautiful liara and send more guards floating through the sky dodging as much as we can here shield boosting and the biotic kyra still standing she's taken down and only two more guards l that are that are on the lower floor are waiting for us. So let's let's go uh, let's go massacre him. We'll go ahead and toss him around, and we're done here. Let's go uh, tell Laura Keen that we got some stuff for him. And as soon as we get down here, it looks like Commander, Gianna's here. There have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Uh, yeah, it must be, uh, it's probably Analyas's thugs. thugs ripping the place apart. Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Perfect. Huh. I guess she does want to talk to us after all. Let's, uh, let's head back and see what she wants. Now, if we wanted to be jerks, we could take the evidence to Analeas himself and just say, Hey, Analeas, and he'll give us the, the garage pass if we didn't have it already, and credits. Or we could come talk to Laura Keen and give him the evidence. But I think we want to immerse ourselves a little bit more in the story, so we're going to join Gianna for a drink and hear her out. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Huh. Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. Interesting. Corruption? I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. And you can't do this yourself? Why don't you yourself? ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? Hmm. What's your job? You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, This month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. I have my own I'd mission. I'd like to help you, Miss know. Parasini, but I need Keen's garage pass. It's vital to my mission. Yes, yes. Fate of billions and all that. I couldn't possibly understand how important your work is. Analeas is dirty. It might be best to help her. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. Tell me a little bit more about this Peak 15 accident. What's happening up on Peak 15? Before the weather closed in, Hanchan received a Code Omega signal from him. Code Omega means a terminal breach of safety protocols. No one goes up until the crew sends an all clear. And what if there is no all clear? And if the crew never sends an all clear? The executive board votes whether or not to destroy the facility. One antimatter warhead from the battle stations vaporizes all contaminants. Whoa! Okay, that's all you know? It doesn't tell me much. That's all I've got. No one knows what's going on up there. Oh, okay. And what about Benesia? Do you know why the matriarch is here? Something to do with Peak 15. She arrived after we received their Code Omega, automated warning of a containment breach. She came with an escort of Asari commandos. They took the last shuttle up to Peak 15 with a load of crates. Do you know what she had in the crates? No idea. The commandos wouldn't let anyone near them. They seemed heavy, though. All right, you know what? We'll help her. All right. I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. So let's go ahead and talk to Laura Keen and take advantage of a very cool thing that we can do here. Hi, Laura Keen. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? Yes, I need you to testify against Analeas. I finished the job but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. And we can go ahead and actually uh, charm him here. 
Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeas. They'll be more angry at him than at you. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. And we can actually... I have not been contacted regarding our arrangement yet. Are things in hand? We can actually spam our stuff here. And if we uh, talk to Matriarch, we, we ask him about Matriarch yes. Benezia. We she skip that. We it's say another question. Humans are full. We can have the whole testify. Have and you can actually max out your Paragon or Renegade points here. No just by choosing these options. Spectacle. And you can keep doing it over and over. And which is which is awesome. My the board is investing. Very well. I will but testify. make sure you convince him to testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact, I will wait here. So we're gonna head all the way to Analeas's offices. Hello, Analeas. Please do not weary me with more talk. Noveria does not run itself. And we're gonna let him know that we have Lorik's evidence. I've acquired Keen's evidence of your misconduct. Let's talk. Mr. Keen is under criminal investigation. You cannot believe any fabrications he would spin in his defense. Give Mr. Keene's evidence to me. It is all lies, but it may help my investigation into his corruption. And what do I get and out of this? And how would this generosity benefit me? We have a standard bonus we pay to private investigators, but you need more than that, do you not? You need to speak with Lady Benezia. I can arrange access for you if you give me this evidence. Evidence. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, this is... This charm option is just grayed out for me, which I, I guess that's a bug. Makes no sense. I My ch paragon is maxed out. My charm is maxed out. Um, but for whatever reason, I can't actually select this, which is really too bad. So we'll say no. I don't think so. That is a mistake. But it is. I will give you time to reconsider. Don't disappoint me. And don't cross me. And we're going to cross him. So let's go talk to Gianna, because that's apparently the only thing we could do, unfortunately. And let's see if we can arrest him. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? Yep, and I convinced Keen. It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a Spectre and all. I guess some of you can be all right. I thought you'd be happier. Doesn't this help you? You don't seem particularly happy. I'm ecstatic, but right now, I just feel like a long day of work is ending. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. Nice. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. And we will get that beer in Mass Effect 2. Hey, thank you so much. That was fun. So, funny story, if you uh, tell Analeas about the evidence, uh, which, don't worry, Renegade Shepard's gonna get up to some shenanigans when he's here, but you can, uh, she comes in to fire him, and, uh, or he calls her in to fire her, and it, it doesn't go well for either of them, really. Anyways, you can come back into his office and decrypt that wall safe there for some quick XP and some nice items. And, my friends, that was the last thing that we could do here on Port Hanshin. So, it's time for us to actually leave. We have the garage pass. We've had it forever. Uh, but we're out of here. It's time for us to go and drive to Peak 15, which apparently has had some accidents. And, uh, oh, some things seem a little wrong there. But I think we farmed out the Port Hanshin area for as much XP as we possibly could, which is what we need. We don't need credits anymore. Uh, what we need is experience. Let's talk to this guy here. I heard the administrator's been arrested. Any chance you had something to do with that? Yep. He was corrupt. <laughs> Most people here are. I wish you could take them all down. So what can I do for you today? You got any local you news? You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Analeas. And a matriarch came through. What about Benezia? Do you know where that matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. What sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. 
Fifteen's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshan. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. I like this guy. What was that about synthetic insights? Analeas had shut down SI. Looks like he was trying to blackmail them. It happens often enough. He got caught this time, though. Looks like the executive board is going to feed him to the Nathak. Nice. I have to go. Lee! You need anything? I'll be here. It was great meeting you, my friend. Seems like there's a ton of rumors about Peak 15, but yet nobody knows what's the actually happening the garage there. Is restricted. No, I have a I pass. Have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're not a jerk. Wait a minute. Geth? Geth on Novaria. I guess we found out what was in those crates. Exactly. Garrus confirming that thought. We'll go ahead and overload this real quick. If uh, There we go. We'll go ahead and actually see if we can singularity. Perfect. Geth Destroyer charging in. We'll go ahead and throw it before it's able to do any damage. Now, I do recommend Tally for this mission as well. Maybe instead of Garrus, but we're going to keep them. We're going to keep who we have for now. Death Destroyer coming in, which means that we're going to Stasis, Unity, and finish off the Geth Destroyer. Geth Destroyer down, only a few Stalkers left. And Stasis, so that it doesn't go anywhere and we can finish it off. Uh, what are these things? Fan out and secure the area. No one gets in or out. Oh, these are these are Geth, Matsuo. They came in crates that you didn't check. And I had to deal with it. What did you do here, Commander? I defeated a Geth ambush. Geth ambushed us. We fought back. That's it. Geth, you expect me to... Where did they come from? If I were to guess, the Matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. How many more? I need numbers, Captain. A dozen? A hundred? Dozens, at least. They're machines. You could pack them tightly. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose geth, there may be an investor panic. Yeah, there's probably going to be an investor panic. This whole planet is uh, a, a, an investor panic. I, honestly. Now, there was a fuel tank back here that we could overload and use that as well to kind of explode people, but we didn't really need that. We got the items that we needed from here, which means that we can head to the Mako that's sitting here waiting for us. you love to see that. And into the blizzard we go. But they call it the Altusk Valley. Let's do it. Level one hazard here. So we don't want to be out of the Mako for too long. It wouldn't be Mass Effect 1 without a Mako section. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to try to avoid this blizzard and hope that it doesn't take us out. And continue on the road to Peak 15, the facility that is rumored to be having some huge problems, but nobody knows exactly what is happening. This seems pretty peaceful. No issues whatsoever. We can actually get out real quick and find that there's some crates here that we can get for some items. Let's go ahead and open those. Nice. Back into the vehicle, we see that... There are, in fact, enemies waiting for us. A ton of Geth have set up a barrier to stop us from getting through. But we'll go ahead and destroy this Geth turret first. As many kinetic barriers as we can. Geth shock troopers stand no chance against us. Taking out as many as we can. We see that there's also enemies across the way over there. We'll deal with those when we get to them. 
For now, we need to deal with these rocket troopers. Taking all, all of the geth in this tunnel out. Seems like we are going to have some work cut out for us here. Dozens of geth my butt. Driving up, we can find yet more geth. The geth armature that we can take out very quickly. Some geth troopers. The power of the Mako is not to be underestimated. And we have some crates that we can grab. While we're still getting shot at, of course. So let's decrypt these. Now, like I said, I do recommend bringing Tally. I do think that she's very, very strong on this planet. Uh, but Garrus is also pretty strong. And I kind of like his insight a little bit more while we explore Novaria. But that AI hacking can just... It's just so good. Continuing along this path, yet more Geth. That, of course, we knew were here because we were getting shot at them. Shot by them for a while there. Taking them out as we go. Getting all of the XP. Looks like we're going to be dealing with some more turrets as we get across, which is good for us. Because that, my friends, means XP, XP, XP. We can also jump out of the, the Mako real quick and grab a medical kit that was sitting here. And proceeding on. Now, once you get here, you can actually start seeing that there are some turrets across the way that you can take out before you get close enough for it to be a problem. Taking out one super far away there. And proceeding along the blizzard cliff sides. More turrets await us as we cross over. Taking it out for another 900 experience or so. You love to see that. And once we arrive at the Peak 15 building, we have a few more turrets that we need to take out and some geth troops that seem to be waiting for us. It's almost like they don't want us to get here. Looks like those geth troopers are actually waiting inside Peak 15. So we've arrived at the facility and we are heading inside see what we can do and we'll come into the parking garage and immediately we're going to be set upon by not just geth and some big geth mind you but two krogan and a giant geth juggernaut waiting on the side there we're going to overload his shields go ahead and stasis him Warp from Liara and Marksman from us as we pump as much damage and take him out and destroy his repair drone that was sitting nearby. Next, we're going to focus on the two Krogan as they no doubt want to charge us and do what Krogan do best. Tossing out a singularity where they stand and unfortunately is not able to do anything. Another singularity, this time coming out from Liara, is able to lift them off the ground. As it charges, throw him away. Finish off one Krogan. Other Krogan is going. We're going to stasis him. Unfortunately, Liara going down because that's just how fast Krogans are able to do damage. We're going to pop Marksman here. And a warp real quick as we channel some of our Marksman points into it. And the Krogan falls and the User parking alert. garage is All clear. All 15 facilities have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. We'll need to get the reactors back online. Seems that we have a job to do. Upon arriving at Peak 15, we need to get reactors online and find out what is causing so much issues here. And, of course, track down the ultimate prey, a matriarch. Upon going upstairs, we'll find a decryption crate... And at the end of the hallway, an upgrade kit. Heading inside, we'll find two drones. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. Apparently, these are set up to stop anybody from leaving the facility. We can head around here as well. 
where we were able to see some items real quick. An upgrade kit with sludge hammer rounds, which is very powerful against enemies that need to be uh, removed from getting near you. And a storage locker that we can grab for a brawler pistol, which is very good, and snow blind rounds. And before us is an elevator that will lead us into the heart of Peak 15, which we'll tackle next time on Mass Effect Legendary Edition. This was a big episode, and we were able to do a ton of stuff in Port Hanshin and clear out the way to Peak 15. In the next episode, we're going to tackle Peak 15 and hopefully, maybe, possibly, if we're fast enough, even be able to confront Matriarch Benezia before anything else and uh, and discover the secret of what's happening here at Peak 15. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, make sure to leave it a like and a comment. Those really, really help out the, the series, and I, I sincerely appreciate that. The, I, there's been a ton of support on this series so far, and uh, I've been enjoying that. So, a uh, huge shout out to those of you watching in these premieres almost every day at 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you guys, uh, and I love hanging out with you. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, also, a huge shout out to those of you on patreon.com slash missile online. Uh, it's uh, because I'm only able to do this because of you guys. The series only exists because of you guys. So, thank you so much. I'll see you all in the next episode. And remember, never give up, never surrender to peak 15 lockdown blizzard blackmail corporation blindside stuff nailed it <laughs>